Hello, I'm Steve Copnell from Alec Mowers and thank you for buying an Alec Liberty 30 or 35 battery cylinder mower. The purpose of this video is to get you prepared and ready to receive your mower and to set up for mowing safely. When the mower arrives, before accepting delivery, please make sure that there is no obvious damage to the outside of the carton. If there is, please just ask the driver to wait while you open the box and check there is no obvious damage to the mower. Please do not sign for or accept delivery if you are not 100% happy with the condition that the mower has arrived in. Both machines are relatively lightweight. The Liberty 30 weighs 23 kilograms and the Liberty 35 weighs 26 and a half kilograms. If you have ordered additional cartridges uh, as well as the machine, then this is additional weight that you will need to consider uh, when moving uh, the carton around. So the packaging around the mower is uh, mostly cardboard. Uh, which can be recycled at your local recycling centre. We also use a low density polyethylene foam uh, which is very useful uh, around the household so if you can reuse that uh, and then please do. If not then again this can be recycled at your local centre. Please make sure that you hold the carton and any packaging for 14 days that way if you are not 100% happy with the product uh, then worse does happen and you want to return that then it's best to return it with the original packaging just for ease of transport. So, let's see what's inside the box. So now we've removed all the carton and the packaging from the mower, so you should have your Liberty 30 or 35 mower a grass box, a grass box cradle, a 40 volt battery and a 40 volt battery charger. You will also have a literature pack which will include a quick start guide which is basically what we are talking through in this video, uh, your mower manual and a brochure showing you all the different cartridges which are available for your mower, a warranty registration card and which to, to register the machine you'll also need the serial number which is located on the back of the mower just above the rear roller. Uh, you will have a 5mm allen key, two cable clips, a small spanner for making adjustments. And This video is quite long so there are several sections to it uh, which we have indexed in the description of this video below. So you can click on the time and that will take you to each section rather than watching the entire video again. So the first thing we're going to do uh, when the mower is out of the box is to set up the handlebars into the mowing position. And be sure that none of the cables are wrapped around the two legs uh, when folding up. So we lift the top handles so the two bars are in line. Just double check that the no cables are trapped between the, uh, the two handle joints. And then using the over centre lever, we lock that handle into position. If the handlebar height is not a comfortable height for, you, for yourself, um, there is an option to adjust the handlebar to raise or lower that uh, to a more comfortable height. So to achieve that, there is a nut on the one side which we release a spring washer and a washer then we can slide the crossbar out of the handlebars position it into another hole thread that through again make sure you're on the same hole on the opposite side then reinstate the fasteners And now we're at a separate different height. So again, just check the cables. With the mower, you should also have the two cable clips. Now there's no right or wrong way to fix these. Um, but with the Liberty 35, you will have this drive cable. And this is to ensure that there's no twist in the cable and it's rooted comfortably so there's no um, snags on the cable itself. It should be located into the plastic moulding at the top handle. 
and also sitting comfortably inside the grommet at the bottom. So it shouldn't be sat outside. The outer black cable should be sat comfortably inside um, the threaded grommet. Your Liberty mower is powered by 40 volt, 4 amp hour lithium ion battery, giving you approximately 40 minutes of mowing time. We need to ensure that the battery is fully charged before we start mowing. When it is dispatched to you and delivered, the battery will be fully depleted. So to test the battery, we press and hold the green button and that will illuminate a series of LEDs along the battery symbol. So if we've got, for instance, four illuminated LEDs, then the battery is at 100%. If we've got two, then the battery is at 50%. So to insert the battery into the charger, there you'll notice there is a rail design on the back of the battery and then the connector ports which will connect into the ports onto the battery dock. So we slide that in and then hear a click to know that it's engaged. There will be a red power light once the charger is uh, plugged in. When the battery is inserted you'll get a red charging light and when that's fully charged uh, that red symbol will turn to green to indicate that the battery is fully charged. So to remove the battery, there is a grey lever. So we press the grey lever in, and then that allows us to disengage the battery. So to insert the battery into our mower, we lift the cover on the power head. You will also know a, notice a red key switch, which basically when removed, that isolates the whole mower uh, from the power source. So if the mower is left outside, uh, especially if children are in the area, it does prevent any accidents from happening. So you can remove the battery and also the key switch as well. So to insert the battery, again, we've got the rails, which locate into rails at the top of the power head. We just slide that in and then push that until it clicks to know that that's fully engaged. And then we are ready for mowing. So to remove the battery, very similar to the charger, we just press the grey lever in and that allows us to disengage the battery from the mower. The Liberty 30 and 35 models have a height of cut range from 6mm rising to 32mm. And we, did, we do the adjustments by tilting the mower back, just taking the weight off the front roller, then using the side dial, we press and insert the dial and then we rotate that clockwise or anti-clockwise. Turning it clockwise will lower the height of cut. Turning it anti-clockwise will raise our height of cut. You'll notice that there are a series of numbers and also an S, which is our scarifier setting. So with the height setting at S, uh, we are at six millimeters or quarter of an inch. Uh, so this is our scarifier setting when using the scarifier cartridge. Uh, number one is nine millimeters or three eighths of an inch. Two is 12 millimeters or half an inch. Setting three is 19 millimetres, three quarters of an inch. And number four is 26 millimetres uh, or an inch. And finally, setting five is 32 millimetres, which is an inch and a quarter. When you want to choose your height of cut, it's important that you also follow the rule of only cutting a third off your plan height at any one time. So if your grass is 30 millimetres high, before you start mowing, you only want to be mowing that, that down to 20 millimetres high. With cylinder mowing, there's nothing better than regular and frequent cylinder cuts, taking small amounts off at any one time, which will really help you achieve a wonderful lawn and strong stripes. So before we start mowing, it's a good idea just to check that the cylinder and bottom blade are set correctly. These are preset in the factory to cut paper, um, but it is a good idea just to check them uh, after delivery, uh, but it's also a good idea just to check them regularly uh, before each mow as well, just to check with paper so that you ensure that the cylinder is set correctly so you're not doing any damage uh, to your lawn. So we have our cylinder and then the bottom blade underneath which is fixed and then we can raise and lower the cylinder down to the bottom blade by using the adjuster on each side. So safety reasons, remove the battery and also the isolator key when doing any adjustments to the cylinder itself. And then what we want to do is just rotate the cylinder. It's always best to wear gloves as well. The cylinder edge can be sharp. And then we want to feed paper in between the cylinder and bottom blade just to get a scissor cut. So we're getting a nice clean cut on the one side, but not on the other side. 
So using a screwdriver, we just want to turn that adjuster clockwise. So just do one click at a time. We don't want to overset the cartridges. So we're basically just lowering that cylinder on the one side. Could still just do another click. So we're getting a nice clean cut that side. If we just back this side off one click as well, because if we're backing one, bringing one side down, that can also put more tension onto the other side. So I've just backed this side off one click. We're cutting nice and cleanly in the centre as well. So if we just back that one off again. getting a nice clean cut now all the way along. So it's always best just to do that on a regular check just to ensure you're not doing any damage then to your lawn. So if we're not cutting paper then we're not going to be cutting grass and if it starts to fold the paper rather than cutting it that's basically what, what it's going to be doing to your lawn. Um, it's also best just to keep these edges clean as possible um, remove any grass and debris on there um, before cutting as well just to make sure that those edges are clean. So now we're going to fit the grass box and the grass box cradle. So you'll notice there are two pins on each side of the, the cradle which locate into two holes uh, on the cartridge itself just above the, uh, the cutting adjusters. So best to insert one side and then we have to just pinch the bars together to locate the other bar into position. So there's a, a mowing position where the grass box cradle is fully down and then we have the storage position as well. So we position that at the lowest setting. Our grass box has got a moulding recess which locates under the cradle. So we lower that, insert that under the cradle and then locate the top mouldings against the, the bottom of the cradle. It, can, uh, it is easy to get this wrong, so you can sit that on top and then locate the front down, um, but that will, um, our clippings will start to fall out at that point and also the grass box is not uh, secured correctly. So just double check that the mouldings inserted into the actual cradle itself. The Liberty 3035 models are controlled by an electric switch arrangement, so to engage the actual cylinder we've got a two-stage program. So we press and hold the red button, we then bring in the red lever and that will engage our cylinder. The 30, Liberty 30 model is a push mower so that doesn't have the lever underneath but the Liberty 35 does so which is self propelled. So to drive the machine forward on the Liberty 35 you bring in this bail bar and that will bring in your drive. However, both machines are very light, so you can freewheel the mowers very easily. So to get them in and out of the sheds, um, or to um, if you're cutting around any tight areas or tight borders, you can use that without the, uh, the lever engaged, just to freewheel the mower. There's also a speed adjuster, uh, speeds one to six, and that will vary the speed of the motor, um, just to give you various options in different conditions. Both the Liberty 30 and 35 will also accept the Scarifier cartridge, uh, which is the most popular cartridge within the interchangeable uh, cartridge range. So with the 30 and 35, you have got the stepped adjustment uh, for the height range. Uh, unlike the Liberty 43, which has fully adjustment uh, increments between 6 millimetres and 32 millimetres. So that one will accept the six cartridges which are available. Um, but please see our YouTube channel to see how you interchange the Scarifier cartridge and also uh, product videos on that just to see how you get the best performance from that cartridge. Often when you receive your new mower as well, you're in a situation where your grasses are quite high uh, and probably too high um, to achieve a third off roll as well for a cylinder mower. And if you're going on holidays as well and uh, you're not able to achieve um, cutting regularly, there is also an option to purchase a auxiliary wheel kit for these Liberty 30 and the 35 and basically that replaces the front roller so you're not rolling the grass prior to cutting. So when your grass is quite high 
basically you can just take out the front roller and you have a side wheel kit and then the cylinder goes through the actual grass rather than uh, rolling it prior to cutting. So you're able to cut longer grass short. So when you're finished with your mower and you're putting it into your storage, uh, it's ideal just to clean off as much uh, grass debris as possible that's accumulated, especially within the cylinder and the bottom blade area. Um, ideally use a uh, light brush or a uh, leaf blower, um, but what we don't recommend is using uh, a high pressured uh, jet washer. Um, basically that will force water uh, where it shouldn't be going, like in the bearing seals uh, or within the power head itself. So once you have cleaned it off, it's uh, recommended to use like a, a light oil or a WD-40 uh, on the cylinder area and bottom blade and that will help protect the exposed edges uh, from corroding. Um, that's basically where the cutting action is going to be, so you, you need them areas to be in top condition to keep your lawn in top condition as well. So with the condition of your cylinder cartridge as well, uh, it is recommended that you have that uh, ground annually uh, to your local Allet service dealer. Uh, so you can easily transport that to, um, to your local dealer by removing the cartridge and there is YouTube videos as well to help you uh, achieve that. And we also have um, the option to do uh, an in-season alternative which is called backlapping and there is a, a video as well uh, with this link and that will take you to that video just to help show you how that is uh, achieved. So to help with storage uh, when you are putting it in your shed or garage uh, the setup will go quite compact uh, size. So locate the, um, the grass box cradle through the, uh, the handles and then the grass box can locate neatly on top making it a neat uh, storage solution. So now we've got the mower into storage we need to think about the battery. So if we're storing the mower for example in our sheds over winter and the battery wouldn't be um, ideal to be going to the shed just because it can be subjected to moisture. So it's preferred to have that in your house or into a garage where it's at a more consistent uh, temperature level. So we also have a lot of resources to help you achieve the great lawn that you want with over 150 videos now on our YouTube channel. And that's all for maintenance of the product as well, uh, for, all, for all the products that are available. Um, we also have our uh, social media uh, community as well, so it's, uh, it's a good idea just to join those uh, platforms and that way you can see what our other customers are achieving uh, and basically pass on feedback as well and get ideas from other customers. So now that you've got everything set up and you're ready to start mowing, all that's left now is to go and start uh, mowing and to make your neighbours jealous. <laughs>